hope you're doing top class. So I did a red lipstick for warm skin tones. So of course I had to do a nude lipstick one. So in today's video I'm going to show you a couple of pinky nudes and brown nudes and some lip liners that are going to go with all of the lipsticks I recommend and a lip gloss thrown in just for people who don't like a stark lipstick and just want some daily shine for their everyday simple makeup look. So if you want to know what my selections are then continue watching. So the first option being pinky nudes goes with complexions that has pink undertones in it. So when you go out in the sun, if you turn pink quickly, so pink nudes will look good on you and bring a nice lovely flush to your cheeks. And these kinds of lipsticks can be worn with any eye look. It can be as dramatic as what I'm wearing right now or even a simple one. It will look fabulous. So this first shade, in spite of being slightly pinkish, also has brown tones in it, so it looks good on lighter skin tones and deeper ones. This next lipstick is an out and out pink nude and would look the best on fair to medium complexions that have pink undertones in it. This beautiful peachy nude goes well with a number of different skin tones from fair to deep and this American brand now ships worldwide and I will leave the availability of all the lipsticks I mention as usual in the description bar so check that out. The second option is brown nudes. Now brown nudes look lovely on complexions similar to mine or deeper than mine. It looks stunning because the browns again uh, balance each other out and really bring so much life to the face. I will show you in just a minute what I mean. And again these brown nudes can be worn with any eye look, any makeup look because it is a nude for complexions like ours and let's check out the options I have for you. This next lipstick is a glossy brown shade that looks fabulous on medium to deep complexions and in spite of being creamy, it has a superb formula that lasts a really long time. This next brown lipstick is more cool toned, it has less of the reddish hues that the previous one did, looks fabulous on medium to deep complexions and is even more nude than the previous one. This next brown is the darkest of the three because it has the most reddish hues in it. Looks fabulous on medium to deep skin tones but if you are on the deeper side and are looking for a good nude, this is the perfect one. This last lipstick is a liquid lipstick and has the same quick drying formula. It's a cool toned brown with a lot of grey in it. Not everybody's cup of tea but if you love it, go on, wear it because it looks absolutely beautiful on all skin tones. Moving on to lip liners, this first lip liner is a cool toned brown and would go well with the pink nudes I showed you and the liquid lipstick. This lip liner is a warm toned brown with reddish hues and hence goes with the warm nudes I showed you. These two lip liners will keep you covered no matter what nude lipstick you buy. And my last recommendation, as promised, is a lip gloss for all you gloss lovers out there. It's a beautiful pink nude that looks great on its own and topped off on any lipstick. That was 
was it for my nude lipstick options for you. I hope you found them useful and the next time you go nude lipstick shopping, I hope this comes to your rescue. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh,